Did you have a favorite superhero when you were growing up? Do you remember ever wishing that you had a superpower? Like maybe being able to fly or having x-ray vision or maybe making something disappear. Well, what if I told you that you do have a superpower? What if I told you that you have the power to transform another person's self-image or to turn a mediocre day into a great day? to restore the romance in a relationship that's maybe gone a little stale, or refuel a colleague who's feeling a little burnt out. You do have this superpower. Maybe right now you're wondering what the superpower is. It's gratitude. That's it. Gratitude. Let's explore this a little. Key point number one. Gratitude changes how we feel because it changes what we notice. It's easy to notice the stuff we don't like. In fact, researchers tell us that we all have a natural negativity bias, which is our brain's way of zeroing in on things which might be unpleasant or even a threat to our safety. Now, earlier in our human history, this negativity bias may have been really important, but in present day, if left unchecked, this negativity bias can leave us feeling pretty unhappy it can even allow these negative observations to be a source of fixation, even causing us anxiety. There is enough negativity in the world, but you can be the gatekeeper of your own thinking. It does require that you become intentional about what you notice and what you pay attention to. When we become intentional about noticing the things that we appreciate, we create new neural pathways in our brain that allow us to notice the good stuff more easily. And it allows those good things to linger with us a little longer. When we experience this, we shift inside. Would you like to sample this experience with me? Let's do this together. Reflection question. Think about your day today. Write down everything that has happened since you woke up this morning that brings you gratitude. When you finish your list, take a moment to savor your appreciation for the things you've written down. Key point number two, the appreciation you have for yourself creates the lens through which you view the world. So now that we've talked a little bit about how gratitude changes the way we see things, I'd like you to consider how gratitude affects the way that you view yourself. You are the vehicle for all of your life experiences. So how you feel in your own skin has a huge impact on how you experience your life. By appreciating yourself, it casts a warm hue on your view of the world around you. But how do you practice self-appreciation? Here are a few of the biggies. Appreciating your gifts. Do you make people laugh? Are you good with your hands? Are you a creative type? Do you enjoy helping others? Are you in your element working with computers or playing some type of sport? We all have things that come more naturally to us and it's important to notice and use those gifts. That helps us to appreciate our unique value. Appreciating your quirks and imperfections. Maybe you're a little messy, or you tend to overdo things. Perhaps not one to follow the latest trends. It's okay. These things make you human and different. In some cases, they can even be an endearing part of the signature of who you are. Appreciating your story. We've all had rough times in our lives which have caused us pain, regret, or maybe the experience of being wronged by another person or group. Sometimes we are weighed down by these struggles without noticing the strength or wisdom that gets harvested as a result of these tough times. But that is something that we can appreciate. The late singer-songwriter Carl Perkins shared, if it weren't for the rocks in its bed, the stream would have no song. The lessons you learn from your struggles can become your song the music you share with others. Appreciate that you get to take that part with you. 
Finally, and most importantly, you can appreciate your very existence. You are part of nature. Your life is both miraculous and fragile. The body you may sometimes find fault with has worked tirelessly to keep you here, to create sensation, connection, growth, and healing. Don't let vanity interfere with your ability to enjoy the body you're in. These are some important ways to appreciate ourselves and our lives. Without this kind of self-appreciation, we can't fully inhabit ourselves. There's a hollowness inside that we sometimes may look to other things or people to fill. But that void usually can't be filled by something external. By viewing ourselves through a lens of appreciation, we're able to step more fully into who we are and who we can be in this world. Reflection questions. What part of yourself do you have a difficult time appreciating? How can you look at this part of yourself through a new lens? Key point number three. Gratitude casts a spell of self-worth on the people around you. When you're appreciating yourself, it warms you up and makes it easier to show that appreciation to others around you. And this is needed in the world. Did you know that there are many people out there who just don't feel they're anything special? People who go through their entire days not feeling that they have much value, not knowing that there are special things they have that set them apart from others. People who don't like their reflections in the mirror or don't feel much hope for their futures. Why? Why are there so many people out there that do not feel their own self-worth? Let's look at some of the experiences that act as barriers for us appreciating ourselves and being able to show that appreciation to others around us. Barrier number one, we compare ourselves to others. There are a lot of images of perfection presented through the media and a lot of messaging about products or services that can make us better. Sometimes the meta message is that we're just not enough as we are. In addition, it's easy to believe that a person's worth is reflected through material wealth, physical appearance, or social status. This is really an illusion that can leave a lot of us feeling like we just don't measure up. Barrier number two, we confuse worthiness with perfection. We all have worth, but no one is perfect. Oftentimes, the building block of self-esteem is doing things over and over and over again until we get good. This allows us to develop our potential naturally. The myth that real talent is effortless, obvious, and leads to overnight success is dangerous for us to believe. We can become ashamed when things don't work out, or we forget that we need to grow our skills before we can expect to master something. Some people give up at the starting line because they just don't see it, and they can't visualize their own potential. Barrier number three, we internalize negativity from others. Many of us internalize the negative messages coming from other people childhood bullies, unhealthy caregivers, peers, partners. As children, we can't differentiate between healthy and unhealthy messages. But as adults, we have to, in order to let go of the negative messages that just don't serve us. Barrier number four, we feel invisible in a busy, crowded world. It's easy to get caught up in a treadmill of activity to become preoccupied with tasks and to miss our opportunities for noticing and recognizing the special moments and people around us. Have you ever been through a checkout line, paid for your merchandise and forgotten to even look up at the person behind the register? If you answered yes, you're not alone. Many of us are forgetting to look up and to see the person, the person behind the machine behind the name tag, behind the computer. We are human beings 
and in our busy world, we sometimes forget to look up and really see one another. But this is important. When we fail to see one another or to show appreciation for who other people are or what they do, it hurts us all. There are many people out there that just don't think they matter. And when you take the time to validate someone, you become a witness to the importance of that person's life. You remind him or her of that person's self-worth. So in this way, showing gratitude to others allows you to cast the spell of self-worth on the people around you. Reflection question. What are the barriers that you notice get in the way of experiencing and expressing your gratitude towards others? Key point number four. Gratitude is the multivitamin for our jobs, relationships, and our bodies. Now, if you're using your gratitude superpower regularly, you're likely to notice good things happening in multiple areas of your life. Perhaps you're feeling better about the community that you live in. Maybe enjoying more time spent around family. You might even feel less stressed out and more comfortable during your workday. Why is this? Many of the problems that people have come from expectations that are not being met or feelings of entitlement, but dissatisfaction with expectations that are being met. See, gratitude gives us something that expectations don't, which is joy. When we notice what other people do through the lens of appreciation rather than expectation, we feel differently about these people. Think about your closest loved ones. Are there things that they do, large or small, that add something important to your life? Do they know that? Do you tell them? Sometimes we take loved ones for granted. Think about service providers in the community. Hardworking people who give of their time and energy, sometimes risking their personal safety to help your life run more smoothly. These people deal with all kinds of personalities all kinds of complaints, and they still show up. Think about people you work with, how these individuals give you a sense of community. Sometimes they may even feel like a second family during your workday. They may teach you things, share resources, or help you to feel less alone during challenging times. Do you ever thank them for being there? Maybe you assume they already know they're appreciated, but they may not. Studies show that nearly half of all employees across different professional sectors state that they feel unappreciated in the workplace. But we each possess the superpower to ease this kind of suffering. Researchers have found that receiving a simple thank you can increase employee productivity by 50%. A survey conducted by Glassdoor.com also found that feeling appreciated is the single greatest driver of employee motivation, loyalty, and job satisfaction. And did you know that more thank yous a day can keep the doctor away? Researchers have been studying gratitude for a while now and have found that even when people keep simple gratitude practices, like writing in a gratitude journal for 10 minutes a day, that that practice is associated with a number of medical benefits, such as lowered systolic blood pressure, improved immune functioning, better sleep, longer duration of sleep, and an increased resilience to stress. Now that's something I think we can all feel grateful for. Reflection question. What are some opportunities that you have to show gratitude to others around you? Key point number five. Gratitude is practiced through experience and expression. So in practical terms, how do we use this gratitude superpower? I'd like to suggest that gratitude practices fall under two primary categories, experiencing and expression. Now, to experience gratitude, you really just have to be present to the good stuff and to notice, to feel your appreciation for what's around you. Some ideas for experiencing gratitude could include keeping a gratitude journal, looking for the positives in your day, writing down these positives and putting them in a gratitude jar, meditating on them, 
reflecting on the things you appreciate from your past. Identify a song that makes you feel grateful and play it every morning or when you need a little boost. When you're with someone, look up. Notice what you like about that person in front of you. What do you relate to? What do you admire? See past the surface and imagine his or her many facets. Imagine the difficulties they may be overcoming to stand before you right now. Be a witness to the value of someone else's life, of nature, of adventure, and even silence. Basically, take it in. Now our next category is for the gratitude that we express, our expression. And this can include any experiences or observations that get shared. Ideas for expressing gratitude could include simply saying thank you, pointing out the unique value that others have, offering supportive feedback that helps another person grow, letting people know how they have impacted you, recognizing others publicly, attending someone's recital, or sporting events, inviting someone to share his or her talents with you in whatever way feels comfortable, showing your awe of another person's hard work. Basically, let them know. Reflection question. What ideas do you have for how you can experience and express your gratitude with greater intention and regularity? Can you recall a time when another person used his or her gratitude superpower on you and it changed your day? Think about it. I can recall many teachers who cast their spell of self-worth onto me and it stuck. It changed my world. It changed how I felt about my life, my education, and my future. And it still lives with me today. And I want to pass this on to you. Who you are is important. You have a reason for being here. And you can see your life as ordinary, or you can behold just how extraordinary you are. You can be immortalized by your contributions, by your kindness. And you can also help to show others how special and important they are. And when you do this, it changes people from the inside out. It heals pain. It silences insecurity. It dissolves tension. And it can also ignite a fire of hope inside of someone else's dim world. So go ahead, use your superpower. Look for the good in our world. Let other people know what you see in them and what their contributions mean to you. We can actually have a celebration of life while we're all still here. We just have to slow down a little bit and remember to look up. If you have feedback about this video, suggestions for future topics, or would like to know when new episodes are released, feel free to email me at katie at wellnesstalktoday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.